For height plus, I'm Travis Adonis. But some families, acting is truly in the genes, coming almost naturally, and the Maury's proved just that through their works. The twin sisters, T and Tamara, are most known for their loosely based on life sitcom, Sister Sister, and were going to do a number of shows and movies over the years. The sisters were eight years older than Taj and had only been doing pageants when he was born, bolstering some attention. Nevertheless, it was the younger brother, Taj Maury, that served as a catalyst for the family to move to LA and truly live as stars, with him showing promise at the tender age of four and carrying this through his adult years before briefly disappearing from the acting scene. The former smart guy quickly amassed a host of fans, even seeing his fandom reprised when smart guy was eventually taken to Disney Channel from the WB. Growing up in a military family where creativity was encouraged and risks were calculated before taken, Taj Moore became a household name backed by shows year after year before a true hiatus in 2007. Taj Moore was born on May 17, 1986 in Honolulu, Hawaii. With parents that were in the military, the family bounced around before relocating to LA permanently upon learning of the acting talents of the Maury children. While Maury was only four when he made his television debut, his parents have earlier memories of the child star showing off his acting prowess. According to a Vice interview, I would memorize the things that I saw on TV and act the scenes out on the spot, he said. My mom was like, oh my God, we have to do something with this kid. The discovery will lead to a move to LA that quickly saw Maury booking commercials for Pine Saw, McDonald's, and even Cheez-Its. It's just to name a few. Even with the age gap, Taj Maury's famous sisters, Tia and Tamara, were still close to their brother and growing up in a Christian household instilled many of these values. Work-wise, the siblings will appear together in full house before later roles gave the opportunity to reunite. A piece via the Black Doctor sheds light into their childhood as Maury stated, we had WWJD, what would Jesus do, bracelets for as long as I could remember and I wasn't taking mine off for television. Acting with my sisters is not even work because we just have natural sibling chemistry. I still see them and my parents as often. As mentioned, T and Tamara has shown talent through pageants when the family briefly lived in Texas and prior to Taj being old enough for his parents to see his talents. Being military children that were in the industry and had lived in multiple places before settling, Taj often consulted his sisters for advice with roles later on, sometimes before going to the executives as he naturally built up more trust with them and saw their work blossom. Additionally, in a podcast sit-down via the Brent Allen show with Taj, he stated that, While we weren't looking for roles together per se, I feel that we push one another both in life and on screen to be better. From his first role on the show called Who's the Boss in 1990, Maury captivated audiences with his smile and wittiness in just one cameo episode. A prominent role as the friend to Michelle Tanner in Full House a year later further familiarized Maury with the mainstream audience as a lovable kindergartner with age-appropriate jokes and impeccable timing. This success made Disney recruit the young actor for singing as well via rapping and rhythm in Disney sing-along songs Let's Go to the Circus, respectively. Following a few more cameos around the time, including one on Friends, Maury was poised to pitch his own show, desiring more and looking to follow the blueprint his sisters had just three years prior. Smart Guy premiered on WB April 2nd, 1997, with Maury acting alongside other notable faces of the time with John Marshall Jones, Jason Weaver, Essence Atkins, and Omar Gooding. The premise of the show followed T.J. Henderson, played by Maury, as he was a genius 10-year-old who skipped six grades, landing him as a classmate alongside his normal teenage siblings. Unlike most child stars, Maury did attend public school, even doing so while filming, and this caused some students to love him and others to envy him being excused from classes. This led to more roles. However, it also created tension and awkward interactions for the middle schooler, who had already moved around several times. Moore recalled an incident in middle school further ostracizing him from his peers, saying, At the beginning of the year, things were good until I would miss school to film. I would come back and they would say things like, Oh, he comes to school when he wants. I also had Jinko jeans back then and other cool gear from sponsors, and other kids didn't like that either. Other issues as a child came from Maury being biracial as other black children would question if he were black enough while his mostly white peers additionally questioned if he belonged when he was around them. Despite these obstacles, Maury remained a professional balance in his school with filming while his parents made sure he stayed out of serious trouble to produce his best work possible. Despite ratings that were more than fair and a cult fan base, 
Many wondered why the show was canceled after just three seasons. In a sit down with Vlad TV in 2021, Omar Gooding insinuated that the cancellation was due to an unnamed star, Maury, wanting more money than what other classmates had. An interview via Comedy Hype from 2019 had Jason Weaver placing the blame on network expansion and by his account pushing to the side of content that was geared towards minorities. Both men claimed ratings were well, leaving some questions surrounding the true reasoning for the show's ending. With both men having experience in the industry, shocked is not a word one would use to describe their feelings seeing the show end, with predictable being more appropriate. Movie roles came about for Maury at Disney Channel as a result of his show's success as he would go on to star in Seventeen again alongside his sisters T and Tamara, which saw two grandparents transform back into their 17-year-old selves. The film marked the first time the siblings would star in a film together, with it appropriately being a Disney Channel television movie. During this time, Maury would continue to appear in other Disney Channel productions. Upon the ending of Smart Guy, Maury was a young adult and acting had been something he had done for nearly 20 years of his life. He needed a change. Away from acting, Maury was quite the athlete, earning a scholarship to Savannah State in Georgia to play football. The desire to chase this dream saw the actor step away from the industry, even transferring schools in his pursuit to play football at the next level. Enrolling at Savannah State University in 2007, Maury began to live more of a normal life. Regarding his career change and football aspirations, Maury spoke on ending his pursuit via advice interview, stating, I went outside at 5 a.m. to the field with a buddy, and the weather was below zero. I just wondered, was this really my future? Maury admitted that football was fun as a child, but at the University of Wyoming, it proved to be more of a task with weather that is not welcoming to an L.A. native and a schedule overall that saw him not enjoy college much, calling it quits initially after just a couple of semesters. After quitting football altogether and attempting to re-enroll in school via Pepperdine University in Malibu, Maury realized his true calling and passion was acting and again dropped out to get back onto the acting scene. In the years that followed after the time in college, Maury looked for roles that he felt better suited him as the adult that he was. Over the years, Maury had become like many child stars, pigeonholed into a certain look or role, leaving less demand for his services. Despite this, in 2006, Maury did guest star in the episode of The Game, portraying Cameron Barnett, the on-screen brother of Melanie Barnett, played by his real-life sister, Tia Maury. Taj would return as Cameron for two more episodes in 2009. In 2012, Maury landed a huge role in Baby Daddy for Freeform Television, appearing in over 100 episodes as a friend to the main character, Ben, who gets his baby left on his doorstep by a one-night stand partner. The role was so prominent, it garnered two Teen Choice Award nominations and solidified Maury's star quality even after the break. This role, according to Maury, was huge as it changed the way he was viewed, saying, People finally saw me and were like, Oh, he's a fool on adult now. This role was also prominent as it showed Maury's ability to be a full-fledged television star even outside of Disney after years with the network that saw him do spinoffs, cartoon movies, and even singing early on in his career. The most notable record of Maury's singing despite an actual debut album in 2015 was that of Circle of Life for Disney Channel's cover of the track alongside other stars at the time in 2003. With the success of the show, many fans wonder if there would ever be a Smart Guy reboot as the show has continued to grow in popularity since being syndicated. Maury would touch on this much to the delight of fans saying, We've gotten the ball rolling on a Smart Guy revival. It's sort of going to be a sequel, a continuation, he said. You'll be brought into where TJ is and what he's up to now. The elephant in the room of whether or not the original cast would be involved was answered as well with Maury acknowledging that everyone is not yet on board. However, he admitted it wouldn't be right to not at least give a nod to those that were there previously if they end up not being involved. While there is no set date, fans have been raving about other reboots from Disney Channel such as Raven's Home, leading many to believe this would be enjoyable as well. In the meantime, fans of Maury can catch him in the comedy drama Welcome Matt as Maury plays a director traumatized to the point of not leaving the house and instead writing and shooting the film from home. In 2021, Taj would guest star in an episode of his sister Tia's latest Netflix sitcom, Family Reunion. The following year, 
Taj was a recurring character in the CBS sitcom How We Roll. The series debuted in March 2022, but was canceled after 11 episodes in May of 2022. At 36, the actor has no children yet. However, a combination of nieces and nephews and godchildren has reminded him that there is no rush. In his younger years, Maury was linked romantically to Naya Rivera and held a friendship with her and her family until her untimely death in 2020. After their on and off relationships, Maury has spent most of his adult years single, looking for someone to match his energy and fit into his military-minded way of life. An article from Glamour shed more light onto his requirements as he stated, She has to be God-fearing and somebody that doesn't need too much validation, not too high maintenance, I guess you could say. With this in mind, Maury has focused more on his work, feeling that when the time is right, he'll be ready and is open to having children one day. Until that lucky lady makes her way into his life, Maury will be filling most of his time like most bachelors by binge-watching movies, creating a photo dump of pictures from his daily adventures, and taking on even the smallest role that captures his interests. From age 4 to 36, Taj Mori has touched countless lives through his acting, singing, and even his creating with the hope being that another 30 years can follow and beyond of the kid who really made some believe he was a genius and the hope that the same happens for another 30 years. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. Follow Comedy Hype across all social media and look out for our original content on our new streaming service. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Travis Adonis.